Greetings, Kirby HEPA VAC fans. So, a while back, I did five Kirby bags, some paper, some plastic, some HEPA, and this one over here scored the best. This one averaged something around the 50 range. But I want to call your attention to the ratings that are actually set forth on the, both the uh, outer plastic bag and also the actual bag itself. This one scored an average of about a 90. And I, you're going to be hard pressed to see what that says on there. And you can see what's on the packaging. So I was very impressed that this bag, uh, without any particular EN or H rating, ended up scoring very, very good, under 100 on average. Well, now I've got these bags. And I have heard that they're supposed to be, like, say, H13 rated. But tell me where that designation is. I'm not seeing it anywhere. And you know what was funny is, you know, I'm in uh, the state of Ohio in the U.S., and the best place I found to get them was here. And I've gotten bags from this guy before. And if you're this guy watching my channel, hello there in Nottinghamshire. It's a riot that you get better prices across the pond than you do local. You know, and since I'm in Ohio, I figure that there would be some kind of distributor that give me a good price. But no, that it was cheaper to actually get these bags and have them shipped over to me or flown or whatever it was thousands of miles away. Hilarious. So if you take a look at these bags here, you notice there, there's patents on them, but there's absolutely no filtration rating not that I see anywhere and this is a universal style as it says on the packaging so this will fit like say a heritage series a G series and all the way through Centria 1, Centria 2, Avalier so on and so forth I think these actually came out at the same time that the Avalier did in 2015 or at least that's what the date on the bag says anyway so we're gonna go and rate these things but I have been testing and I've by the way I've tested two samples of this just in case I got one maybe it was funny I got a six pack of bags I've tested two and they've tested the same uh, just as a precursor it doesn't blow a zero and it's not as good as this and it's also not as good as this however before you start jumping all over me this particle counter only reads down to 0.3 it doesn't read down to 0 0.1, 0 0.03, 0 0.01, or any other type of measurement. So, it's possible this thing is filtering to a, a better level, but my meter cannot measure it, and I wouldn't be too surprised. So, let's take a static air test, see how dirty the air is in my basement. So I really like this meter. Uh, it's a three-channel meter. You see that it actually measures 0.3, 2.5, and 10 all at the same time. So it's a little dirty today in the uh, basement of Vac Lab. Been doing a lot of moving around. So you see, let's see, 12,000 something. I'll go ahead and put the average numbers out there, but unless something drastically changes I've measured this thing I'm not kidding 100 times at least two different bags so the numbers we're gonna get should be a reasonable average alright so we're around 11 twelve thousand or so something like that and you can see that the air is still uh, very clean although it, it's not my record of like say six thousand which is the lowest I've ever done alright so same setup the same way as before
so you see we're really in the range of maybe like say upper 100s to say 200 or so. And just so you know, I remeasured this exact bag that I used for the previous test and I was able to get an average right around 50 just to make sure that nothing in my test environment had changed and it hasn't or that my meter was funny or something had changed, uh, you know, changed consistency, results, capabilities, quality, whatever. So as far as 0 0.3 goes, if you care about 0 0.3 and that's the only thing you care about, this actually is a worse bag. However, I'm going to tell you something here. I noticed that the back pressure in this bag when I turn the machine on this is much harder to squeeze than this bag is. So it is entirely possible that this bag is definitely doing a better job, but I can't measure that with this machine. I can, I can feel that this thing, in fact, when I went to go set this thing up, what was so funny was I, uh, I initially used this bag, and I set everything up here with the boxes on either side to keep it from vibrating so much because uh, that can affect the measurements. And then I put this red bag in and I turned it on and this box completely blew over because it shot out because the pressure in this bag when it was full was much more than the black bag in the blue packaging. So this thing is uh, restricting airflow probably because it's doing a higher level of filtration but it might be doing it at a level again that I can't measure. Uh, you'd have to take a look at the H11 versus H13 specs and see that I'm going to guess H13 probably filters a lot more down a much, much smaller level. But I don't have a, a meter and or I cannot find one that's reasonably priced that would measure, say, oh, I don't know, to 0 0.03 or 0 0.01 or maybe even 0.1. So anyway... There you go. As far as what my meter can actually read, this is probably around like upper 100s. This is going to be about 100, and that's going to be about 50. But remember, these bags don't fit an F-type connector. These do, and these do. So you pay your money, and you take your choice. Hope you enjoyed watching. Until next time, happy vacuuming.